Hey, are you wondering what essential oils are good for your spiritual practice? Or even what the best essential oils for meditation and balance are? In this video, I will go over some of my favorite essential oils like to help me get grounded, uh, especially before I pull my oracle cards and for staying in a detached observer mode, which helps with connecting to spirit and with gaining like a greater insight into understanding the meaning of the cards that we're going to pull. So welcome. This is for week May 1st through the 7th. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Denise Ari and I am a certified Oracle card reader and an elite wellness leader and essential oil educator with doTERRA. Um, go ahead and hit the bell and click the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video. So I have been doing doTERRA as a business for over five years now, and I help women create freedom through the financial stability of running their own business and especially businesses with doTERRA. Now, did you know that essential oils can naturally enhance your mental state and put you into an uplifted mood so that you feel just awesome? So I'm super excited to show you some of the simple oil uses that I use. And if you stick with me to the end of the video, I have a free gift for you. It's my free PDF where I share a list of the most powerful and enlightening questions for asking spirit and the Oracle cards to help guide you in finding your true promise and your purpose and your inner power. So let's get to it. Okay, so when I pull cards, I love to diffuse my essential oils. And I have one I'm diffusing right now with a blend of grapefruit, lemon, Roman chamomile, um, Siberian fir, and Hawaiian sandalwood. And I use two drops of each. And this is the perfect grounding blend that also gives me like an uplifting feeling because of the, central, the citrus oils. With diffusing this, my mind, it gets it into the right mood and I'm ready to see what spirit has in store for me today. So I have already shuffled the cards and I've pulled three and my first one here is Buffalo Spirit. Now, Buffalo Spirit comes to remind you of the amazing power of manifesting through gratitude and the extraordinary potential available to you when you adopt like a mindset of abundance, okay? So if you think about this, the ancient people of the Americas, like the Indians, they saw the buffalo as a symbol of abundance because the herds roamed far and wide and they provided so many gifts, right? They had the meat, the hide, the bones, and the tribes hunted the buffalo. Um, they used every bit of them, wasting nothing, appreciative of the abundance. So too do you have many gifts, and they're available to you. And buffalo spirit appears to let you know that you are in a powerful time to manifest your desires, not by force or pushing, but rather by following a natural path that rises up before you just by trusting that there is always plenty to go around, whether that plenty be love or money, inspiration, support, it's all there for you to claim. When you are grateful, you immediately align yourself with the truth 
that the world is rich and teeming with resources. There is always more than enough and you are always more than enough. So at this time, you can expect all your intentions and needs to come into form that into the form that is right for you. Your heartfelt gratitude is making you a magnet for miracles. Okay. Have that heartfelt gratitude and Buffalo spirits message is that remember you co-create your reality in partnership with spirit. So offer up your thanks and your prayers, even before you see the conditions you desire, even before you see the miracles, then you will quickly see results in tangible ways because gratitude has the magic to grow the good. So offer thanks and praise as you acknowledge all that you have and all that is possible. All right, card number two is Groundhog Spirit, which is time to let go. So with this one, endings um, always come and then there's new beginnings and death is a part of life and Groundhog Spirit is here to let you know that it is time to accept the natural ending of something that's no longer serving you. So we love to hold on to what is familiar, right? But the new needs space to arrive so that growth can occur. So when Groundhog Spirit shows up, it's a sign that there's something in your present situation that needs you to let go of it so that something new can be, be, be born, something that is far, that will far better serve you right now, okay? So when Groundhog sees his shadow, <laughs> he generally retreats into his den, right? And so too, you might want, want to retreat for a little more time to say goodbye and transition into the new. But change is coming and it's good. So let go of your resistance. Spring brings many blessings and what must die will always be reborn in a new form that will be right for you. Life requires change and detachment. So say farewell to whatever once served you and get ready for something amazing to take its place. Spirit is already sending it your way. So be prepared. And card number three, we've got card number three, Seahorse Spirit, Spirit, which says watch and wait. So Seahorse is hovering gracefully, um, observing from the perspective of one who isn't engulfed by the drama. They're remaining at a distance from all the turbulence and Seahorse Spirit appears at this time, like just to remind you of the need to be neutral and gain your perspective. So your message from Seahorse Spirit is not my circus, not my monkeys, right? Spirit wants you to know that even if you are tempted to jump into the fray and try to fix things, the best way to serve yourself and others right now is to remain calm and simply watch and see. Another message here is that whatever your questions are right now, just step back from it. Be willing to explore things from a different angle rather than always a single one and just observe what is possible. From a position of a neutral observer, you, you can observe many opportunities and a deeper understanding of what you seek and why you seek it. Then you will know beauty, truth, love, and wisdom. So I hope you like this video. And if so, 
make sure to like my channel, subscribe, ring that bell, be notified every time I post a new video. If you want to learn more about essential oils, I have a weekly online class that you are welcome to attend. I also have a free PDF that you can download um, where I give you a complete list of all time best questions to ask spirit when you're pulling Oracle cards for yourself or even for others. And you can find that along with my essential oils 101 guide in the description below. So have a great day. Goodbye.